Hello, my friends. My name is Miss Stephanie, and I love to go on exciting learning adventures. As the weather is getting colder, we're starting to see a lot more ice and snow where I live. Maybe you've even seen some too. I like the winter weather, so today I'm going to visit a special place that only exists during the coldest time of the year. Can you guess where it might be? Believe it or not, today I'm visiting a real ice castle. Yes, it is a castle made out of ice. It's a truly magical experience, and we can learn a lot about snow and ice along the way. Let's go! Here it is, we're at the castle. It is man-made, which means that people made it. And no, this castle was not made by a certain magical ice princess. It was made by workers. Let's find out how. They had to wait until it was cold enough outside so it could stay frozen. This castle is actually made out of water because when water freezes, it turns to ice. This castle was made piece by piece, usually at night when it's the coldest. First, builders freeze water into icicle shapes. An icicle is a long skinny piece of ice that forms when dripping water freezes. Then they take each icicle and use a bit of slush to stick it together with the other pieces. Slush is snow that's a little bit melted and mushy. Then they use water to melt the pieces together. And the water quickly freezes it solid because the air is so cold. They will even spray the ice castle with cold water at night so extra layers of ice form to keep the castle strong during the day even if the sun comes out. And if the ice is thick enough, it will not melt during the day. As long as the weather stays cold, the ice castle can last all winter. Look how big it is! And it was all built icicle by icicle. That looks like it was a lot of hard work. They also put colorful lights near the ice so it glows all different colors. It's cold here, but so pretty. Hopefully you're staying warm though. Ice is actually pretty amazing. All you need to make ice is water and cold temperatures. If water goes below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it will get hard or freeze and turn to ice. And when ice gets warmer than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it will melt or turn back into water. The ice castle has a cold temperature. Temperature tells us how hot or how cold something is. Temperature is measured in degrees. Degrees are numbers that tell us exactly how hot or how cold something is. Fahrenheit is a system that we use to tell the temperature. We can read it using a tool called a thermometer. If something has a high temperature with a big number, that means it's hot. But if something has a low temperature with a smaller number, that means that it's cold. Water is made up of tiny molecules. Molecules are very small parts of something. Molecules move around and create energy. But when they get cold, they slow down. At 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the molecules stick together and become a solid. And when water is a solid, 
that means it's hard or frozen. And that's when ice is formed. That's why your freezer at home can make ice cubes because it's colder than 32 degrees in there. Now that we understand a little more about ice, let's do some more ice castle exploring. Just look at this beautiful ice ceiling. You can see the icicles hanging down. And there's even an ice fountain here. The inside of the ice castle is like a giant maze. There are lots of different rooms, caves, and tunnels. Everything is lit up because there's colorful lights inside the ice. As the sun goes down and it turns to night, you can see the lights even better, making the ice castle even more beautiful. Maybe the coolest part is that there's even an ice slide that you can go down. Let's go down the slide! Whoa, that was so much fun. So ice can be made anywhere, as long as you have water and the cold. But what about snow? Well, snow comes from the clouds in the sky. And just like with ice, it needs to be really cold. And at least that magic number, 32 degrees. Water that falls from the sky is called precipitation. Rain is precipitation and snow is another kind of precipitation. But where does it come from? Well, clouds are made of little tiny pieces of water called water droplets. Water droplets move around in the clouds and they bump into each other. But when it's very cold out, the water droplets freeze into tiny ice crystals. Ice crystals are too heavy to float in the air and they will fall from the clouds soon after they form. As they fall, they bump into other ice crystals and they stick together. This happens many times as the ice crystal falls to the ground. And this is how a snowflake is formed. While snowflakes may look tiny, they can be made of up to 200 ice crystals. Because each snowflake is made as they're falling, each one looks different. All snowflakes are unique or different from each other in some way, and they all form beautiful designs. Look at these snowflakes. If you're ever out in the snow, try to catch some snowflakes on a dark surface, like on some dark gloves or mittens. And look closely at the snowflake to see its shape. But you'll have to look quickly because snowflakes can melt pretty fast on a warm surface. And of course, when there is enough snow on the ground, it can be so much fun. You can build a snowman, go sledding down a snowy hill, make snow angels by moving your arms and legs in the snow, have a snowball fight, or maybe even make your own snow fort or castle. Now, I've been out in the cold for a while, and it's time to leave the ice castle so I can get warmed up. Thanks for coming with me today, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this incredible castle made all of frozen water. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next field trip. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.